Throughout his administration, President Obama has been deeply committed to Israel and its security. And that commitment has guided his pursuit of peace in the Middle East. The two-state solution is the only way to achieve a just and lasting peace between Israelis and Palestinians. It is the only way to ensure Israel's future as a Jewish and democratic state, living in peace and security with its neighbors. Israel's permanent representative to the United Nations, who does not support a two-state solution, said after the vote last week, quote, it was to be expected that Israel's greatest ally would act in accordance with the values that we share and veto this resolution. I am compelled to respond today that the United States did, in fact, vote in accordance with our values, just as previous U.S. administrations have done at the Security Council before us. They failed to recognize that this friend, the United States of America, that has done more to support Israel than any other country, this friend that has blocked countless efforts to delegitimize Israel, cannot be true to our own values or even the stated democratic values of Israel. And we cannot properly defend and protect Israel if we allow a viable two-state solution to be destroyed before our own eyes. Despite our best efforts over the years, the two-state solution is now in serious jeopardy. The truth is that trends on the ground, violence, <coughs> terrorism, incitement, settlement expansion, and the seemingly endless occupation, they are combining to destroy hopes for peace on both sides and increasingly cementing an irreversible one-state reality that most people do not actually want. If the choice is one state, Israel can either be Jewish or democratic, it cannot be both. And it won't ever really be at peace.